What would you think if somebody told you that on the Cardano blockchain, it will soon be able to process thousands of transactions per second without sacrificing decentralization and security? Well, it's real, it's coming, and Cardano's Ouroboros Laos might just be the game changer that we have all been waiting for. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Lake and Crypto. My name is Josh, and I'm here to help you find digital liberty in the complex world of crypto. Remember that anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. Also, please do yourself a favor and check out W3i to find out how you can get involved with the future of stable coins on Cardano. And while you're at it, I just want to make sure that you are using your ADA to its full capacity. Make sure that you delegate your ADA to a Cardano DREP and a Cardano stake pool operator. Those are both things that I can do for you. Just make sure that you delegate to the LGC stake pool that's for late game crypto so that you can start earning those ADA rewards today. Cardano's Ouroboros protocol is not a new thing. It is the core protocol that has provided Cardano with bulletproof security, incredible energy efficiency, and the single best liquid staking mechanism in the entire industry of blockchain. But here's the thing that I think a lot of us tend to forget. A lot of these things didn't exist on Cardano at the very beginning. Ouroboros has gone through a series of evolutionary steps, a series of upgrades over the years that has brought Cardano leading performance in whatever area that it intends to focus on. And this next version of Ouroboros intends to focus on scalability. I think the thing that people don't tend to understand, both within the Cardano community and very much outside of the Cardano community, is that Ouroboros is not the same thing as Hydra, which wasn't really delivered kind of until like early 2024, when a lot of people were expecting it to come out sometime in 2021. Hydra is kind of its own technology. It was its own project that, even though it was delivered in a phenomenal fashion, that delivered 1 million transactions per second on the Cardano mainnet, it took a lot longer than we expected. Ouroboros Laos doesn't really have that same challenge because the Ouroboros protocol has been carefully planned and roadmapped since 2017. Each new version of Ouroboros over the years has quite literally made Cardano the best blockchain in whatever area that that version intended to focus on in kind of a, a simplified way of putting it. But let's, let's take a look. Ouroboros Classic was the very first iteration of Ouroboros that was launched in 2017, and it made Cardano the most energy efficient blockchain at the time, and not just by deviating from the, the proof of work meta that existed at the time, but also by keeping the hardware requirements for node operators efficiently low. Ouroboros Preos, which was launched back in 2020, made Cardano the most secure blockchain in the entire industry. And I'm not really qualified to speak on that on a technical level to break that down, but I think that the bulletproof uptime and security and the fact that Cardano to this day, for eight years straight, has never been hacked, I think that record speaks for itself. Ouroboros Genesis is one that I'm a little bit less familiar with, partially because it was just recently launched right around Q3 of 2024. It implemented a high level of composability that allows the Cardano blockchain to interact seamlessly without sacrificing on its security with outside infrastructure and networks. And that's both Web 2 and Web 3. Since there isn't really a whole lot of uh, metrics to demonstrate composability and, and interoperability, I don't know if I can confidently say that this is better than how other blockchains do it, but I do think that the value of this one is going to manifest itself uh, in, in the next few years as we see more interaction and engagement, and especially the launch of Midnight, I, I think that it's going to become pretty evident. If you want to understand Cardano's future, you have to understand Cardano's history, and Ouroboros has a long track record of strategic planning and delivery over the years. And when I say delivery, I'm talking about technology and infrastructure. 
I'm not naive. I'm not talking about price here. Markets today, especially crypto markets, are not rational. They are heavily manipulated and not a reliable measurement of quality. Ouroboros Leos is intended to deliver scalability. That's the whole focus here. That's the goal. And this is the first major move that Cardano has made towards scalability, no matter what anti-Cardano critics will have you believe, like, oh, Cardano can only deliver 8 TPS. Brother, we haven't even tried yet. Ouroboros Leos is reportedly going to make Cardano faster than Solana without sacrificing any of its standards in security and decentralization. I guarantee you in the comments of this video and others like it, you're going to get people that are commenting things like, oh, it's just, it's just empty promises. It's just Charles lying to the public again. Dude, just tell me that you don't pay attention without telling me that you don't pay attention. You don't even have to know how to read in order to know what's coming, which I know sometimes is too high of a standard to hold crypto degens to, but there, there's literally a few years worth of research that is dedicated to just this topic, to Ouroboros Leos specifically. There was a monthly update video, a monthly video that, that puts out updates on Ouroboros Leos, and last week they showed what Ouroboros Leos performance could look like. Now, let's make sure that we're staying grounded here. I'm not totally confident that we're going to see 100,000 TPS after the first iteration of Ouroboros Leos gets implemented. But I am plenty well confident that we're going to see a level of speed and scalability on the Cardano blockchain that will be ready for the next level of Web3 adoption. So if you want to be prepared for it and get ahead of the rest of the industry before they catch wind of this stuff, I recommend you start with my channel partners. Everybody that is serious about blockchain needs their own cryptocurrency wallets where they can store their crypto assets, which is why I recommend my channel partners at Tokyo and Giro Dashboard. Both of these products are so much more than just a wallet with unique features that nobody else is doing, community-owned business models, and industry-leading standards of security that you can trust. I've been using Jiro products for a long time now, and let me tell you, they have come a long way in their development progress. That's how they've been able to come to market with the first ever ADA cashback program in the ecosystem, a built-in NFT media player, and soon the convenience to be able to buy crypto with your credit card directly. And Tokyo has been developing at such an impressive rate that I knew immediately that I had to get involved in this project. They've only been around for about a year, and they're already one of the first Cardano dApps to have native Bitcoin integration, as well as integration with Coinbase Pay, and it's probably the best UX that I've ever had. I use both of these dApps in my everyday crypto activity, and I think you should too. If you're interested, I've got some special referral links for you down in the comments section below so that you can get into the best wallets in the business. I am sure that the question of timing is on everybody's mind. Whether you're a fan of Cardano or not, I think we all want to see what Orbors Leos can really do. Leos is currently in the prototyping phase, which means that nobody is committed to any hard release dates quite yet. But based on some, some things that Charles has said in some of his own live streams, we could be seeing it as early as sometime in 2025 to 2026. I personally think that 2025 is a tad optimistic, but we'll see. I'm personally expecting somewhere around mid to late 2026, which is actually a heck of a lot more optimistic than I was about the release date of Ouroboros Leos before Charles started saying things about it. Now, to close out this video, I, I want to hit on a point that is kind of a new one for us in the Cardano community, which is what you can do to help make sure that Ouroboros Leos gets integrated as soon as it possibly can. Here in the Voltaire era, of Cardano, we, the ADA holders, get to call the shots in this ecosystem of what goes and what doesn't. So if you want to know what you can do to make sure that Ouroboros Leos gets implemented as soon as it possibly can, I think the best way for you to do that is make sure that your ADA is delegated to a Cardano DREP, somebody that has some patience, somebody that values tech development, 
somebody that prioritizes long-term progress over short-term gain. I'm not going to nominate myself in that. Uh, we already did that at the beginning of the video, but I want to know your thoughts. Who do you think fits this description? What Cardano D reps are you delegated to that fit that criteria? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can about this space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.